Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? We got the new Legends today for Madden 21, guys. Now, for this weekend's Legends, we finally do have 95 overalls, which are a big improvement on what we've been dealing with, considering the fact that they, like, some of the other Legends were borderline meta. These are actually going to be meta, which is a big difference because the other ones, especially going into next gen now, you're going to really, really want those extra stats to really get to feel the difference. They do say that ratings are supposed to affect animations a little bit more than they did in the past. Now, the legend should be up ready, guys. But before we do, let's do the shout out for today. Now, you guys already know the deal. If you want to be shouted out, like the video down below, comment down below, uh, Poodle Squad, and turn on the noti bell to be shouted out. Today's shout out goes to Hurlbert. Shout out to you for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. If you guys want coins to pick up these new LTD legends, especially the LTDs, those are gonna be like those are gonna be the good overalls right there. Heading over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for fifteen percent off your order. Take advantage of the blitz discounts are still going on, and I imagine holiday discounts will be starting soon as well. Now it's heading over to the uh, the sets to see the players and stuff. Of course, it's already like ten thirty eight, so everything should be in game. So let's see, we got Jimbo Covert and Leroy Selman. Now Leroy Selman is an end for the Buffalo, the Buccaneers, sorry, and the LT, which is Jimbo Covert for the Bears. Now. These are the base Legends 94, which means LTD Legends are going to be 95. Now, the prices haven't been too off from Legends LTD like they used to be, so it's really not that big of a deal depending on which one you end up going there. I'd probably go with the 95. But, of course, you have to check the pricing, see the uh, differential between the two before you go ahead and make a choice on that. But let's go into the auction block and see their pricing. Now, let's go check out the... I like to check the Legend packs every weekend, see if they do end up finally dropping in price. But, nope, still $120 for that bundle. I still wouldn't recommend it, like I say. Pick up coins instead. It's definitely way cheaper and way more efficient than picking up the bundle. But the bundle, I mean, the bundles have been good in the past. But the issue is with the market being so low right now, you really just don't get the return. You need, like, a, after, like, a series update weekend where the market's still high enough to justify it. But at the moment, that's not the case. But let's head on over to the auction block. Check out some of these players. And, of course, see what else we're dealing with. Uh, let's see what we're doing. So let's go to 95 overall, of course. Now let's see if the LTDs are up. They should be at this point. We're gonna have to filter this out by legends though, because there is a decent amount. Look how cheap Shane Leckler is. 168 for a 94 overall. That is absolutely crazy. Cause like even with training, he should have been a little bit higher than he actually is. And even 226 for Ray Lewis. The market is real down right now. Aaron Rodgers is 255. He could build the God Squad right now with like two million coins. Well, maybe not the entire team, but enough of what you need. But let's go filter this out now. By legends. Let's cut them down. Alright, so let's go to the bottom. So we got 95 Leroy Selman right here. Let's see, power rusher for, let's see where his stuff is. Attributes, 86 speed, 92 excel, 93 strength, 91 tackle, 91 play rec, 94 block shit, 94 power move, and 86 finesse move. Now he gets all the thresholds. Now he might be the best pass rusher in the game because of the fact that he can get either a 99 power move or a 99 block shed, depending on if you use run stuff or pass rush. So... He's going to be able to be one of the best run stuffers while simultaneously being one of the best pass rushers. And he has the speed and excel. Now, he's not the most athletic of the bunch, like, and that's not that's not a bad thing. He's slightly less athletic than a few ends at like one or two speed, but maybe even have two plus excel. So the fact that he has all of that and can still run stuff and, and have a power move is pretty pretty ridiculous at this point in the game. Um, cards are getting really, really good. 93 impact blocking. And then let's see if anything else matters. 94 hit power as well. So if he hits the quarterback, decent chance he can force a fumble. Or, of course, you can go for the strip as well, which is usually just as effective, but hit power is nice to have, and so is the impact blocking, which is the 93. Leroy Selman's great. He's, he's a really, really good card. Now, of course, where is he going to end up falling in price, considering he's the first 95 overall uh, you know, legend? Him and the other one, probably going to fall. He's not under K right now. He'll probably end up falling in, like the, I'd say, the 600K range, 650, depending on how meta people view this card as, and then slowly fall down. But 915 off the rip isn't horrible. Again, let's refresh and check that out again. Let's see what he's looking like again. All right, so Jimbo Jimbo Covert's up there too as well. Now, Leroy Selman at 915. He'll be there for a little bit. Now, let's go check out Jimbo Covert, which is going to be the other uh, legend for the day. Now, Jimbo Covert's a left tackle. Now, right now, so we've got to end in left tackle. We still don't have Moss in the game. A lot of people are asking, where's Randy Moss? I think at this point, they're probably saving him for Christmas or the 50. Uh, they might have been waiting for 95 overalls, like 95 overall the 50 cards, so... Maybe the next two weeks we'll see him as like a pre-Christmas, the 50 drop, or he'll end up being like how he was two years ago in Madden 20, which is going to be an LTD, um, sorry, two years ago in Madden 19, the LTD Christmas player, like Ghost of a Pass, and he's, Randy Moss usually has dominated Ghost of Pass, like he had him back like in Madden 13-ish, or back then he had him back in Madden 19, and probably a few more, they had him on the Raiders once as well. 
But let's go check out Jimbo Covert left tackle now. Should you be shelling out money for a left tackle? It really depends because after 90, the thresholds are typically set. So I don't really know how much of the difference of a left tackle who has all 91s versus all 95s. But again, if you believe in, you know, every little rating matters then, or you want to get your overall up, it could definitely help. So 92 strength, 92 awareness, 95 pass block, 93 pass block power, 93 pa uh, pass block finesse, 95 run block, 95 run block power, and 95 run block finesse. So overall, he's probably the best left tackle in the game by a decent amount. And his price should come down because as you guys saw with the 50 cars, cars just aren't holding value right now. Should fall down pretty significantly, pretty fast as well. Um, it'll probably end up being around like 450, 500k. Maybe for the base, I don't know about the LTD. It really just depends on how much people value a left tackle right now. But he's super good. Let's check out his athleticism. 68 speed, 70 agility, 78 excel. Okay, so his, his, his athleticism is decent at best. Nothing good, nothing great. He's a left tackle, though, so you really just want to hold down the fort in the left side and the blind side. So... Honestly, not horrible. His impact blocking is, let's go check that out, 93. Lead block is 91. So the card overall is great. I mean, it's going to be a great card. We knew this when we saw 95 overalls. Now, again, 95 overall legends is big because that means that any legends we get from here on out are going to be better than this. So there's a lot of legends we still need to get, a lot of legends we've been waiting for that we're still waiting to see. So hopefully if we do get those in the near future, we're going to be able to use them. Because usually, here's the thing with the legends, typically near the end of the overall, like the overall cycle, which is like, you know, 94 for three weeks, then 95 for three weeks, Towards the end of them, the cards start to get like a little less useful. So whenever we reset, the cards are usually super dominant. So for example, in the 50, or let's go with Legends actually. In the Legends, we go to players here. You see, so like Chris Cooley, Mo Lewis, like all these players were good. Glenn Swan were good, Cliff Harris, but they were good. But like towards the end here, we we're starting to get newer 94 overall. So we're like, okay, we need 94 overall Legends now. Now Jimbo Covert and Lee Roy Salmon look amazing. And then vice versa, when we first saw Steve McNair and Ronnie Lott, or we first saw... Um, down here, like Edron James, John Randall. Like every time we get these new drops, Ricky Jackson, Steve Smith, every time we get these new overall drops, you typically notice a huge difference in like attribute increase. So obviously we've been noticing that. And then same thing with the 50 here. The 50 is going to be the same exact way. We finally got 94s and Ray Lewis and Rogers look insane. And then if you go on down to here towards the end, Toy Freeney, uh, Adrian Peterson looks too great. Freeney and Rivas looked good, but not like insane. And then same thing here where Warren Sapp, Calvin Johnson, Although Calvin Johnson was, re Calvin Johnson looked really good. The speed was a little bit low, but people seem to not really like him too much. So that's where we're waiting for Moss. Moss is going to have the speed. He's going to have everything that Calvin has, but better probably because he's going to have the speed that Calvin didn't have. But Randy Moss might literally get like a 94, 95 speed, which would be absolutely insane because he's also, what is it, six foot four, and he's able to get, um, you know, catching, route running, just about everything on the field. But. It pretty much wraps up today's legend video, guys. Not, not much else to go over there. We, tomorrow for Sunday, we will have a video going over the upcoming week of Mutt. Now, this is the week of the... Um, we're going to be starting the week of the 7th going into after Sunday. So, that does mean we're probably within that week. We'll probably start hearing some kind of news about the Christmas promo. And if it's not that week, it's like the day after that week ends. Because usually around the 15th-ish is when we start to hear news about a new promo or we actually get the new promo. Hopefully, you start Christmas early. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out.